As soon as you try to be independent, as soon as you try to become a unit, as soon as you try to become a union, as soon as you try to become united, guess what? That shit ain't gonna last for long. The West is gonna come and stir up something. Why? Well, in conflict, there is money. Believe me that. In conflict, there is money. There will that's when you can buy resources cheap at a bargain you know you know where, you see, where people talk about going to a one pound store or or something like that those are the, well, that's what I'm talking about but this is happening on a macro scale this is when people are taking out resources at a fraction of its value do you understand what I'm talking about um I don't you know I, I don't know all the gritty grannies of details about politics and the economy, finances and stuff like that. Maybe to some extent I am naive. You know, maybe to some extent I am searching for the truth. The truth is what? I don't know. But, but it's, you know, I have tears in my eyes, you know. I mean, I'm not crying out, but it hurts me. It hurts me to see that some of the people that are there that call themselves leaders are they truly leaders? Who do they lead? Do they lead the people to a better ending? Or are they just enjoying the wealth of people suffering and making the West even richer than they are just because of their naive greed? I don't know. I just. I just want people to be strong, you know, to unite. You know, I'm, you know, I look at that guy. What's his name? Morgan Changirai. Come on, man, he's a fucking twat. Does he really, really think he's gonna end up in power? Could, you know, please, can you put someone else? I mean, Mugabe. Yes, okay, fine, we accept. He gotta go. You know, his time is done. He's grown older. Maybe now he's suffering from a bit of dementia. He can't even stay awake in some of his uh, conferences. But Morgan Changirai, come on, that's a puppet for the West. That, you know, he's just a puppet. You know, when they say jump, you'll be like, how high, boss? No, 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 no. We need someone who's strong who looks at them square in the eye and tell them, look, you can put a gun to my head, but I am not moving. Do you understand? They need us. Don't be fooled, my people. They need us a whole lot more. A whole lot more than we need them. Do you understand? A whole lot more. But the sad thing is that they've made us perceive them as if they are the answer. Imagine someone putting themselves in the role of God and that's what the West has done. Yes, but you're meant to get yourself out of the Nama. You're meant to fight, not come crying to them. Do you honestly think they're going to help you without asking for something? My people, come on. Do you honestly think they're just going to go and donate say, Oh yeah, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help get Mugabe off power for nothing? You're crazy. These people don't do shit for nothing. They're going to ask, okay, what am I going to get? Right? Oh, we need foreign investment. Fuck foreign investment. Foreign investment is for people who just want to rip as much as they can from your country. Foreign investment. Come on now. My people, I want you to all wake up. Be strong. It's going to be painful. A hundred years. Maybe your generation isn't going to be benefiting. But the generations after that, if you become a unit, as a unity, as a union, will benefit from it. Anyways. This is me reporting out to you all. Uh, if you've got any critical comments, I'm free to take it from whites, blacks, Asians, purple, blue people. That I don't give a fuck. 
these are just my own opinions about my things, the way I view things. Um, and the reason why I view things like this is because of my social influences. It's from how I've grown up. If I was to tell you, I went to a very posh school in Zimbabwe called St. George's. More than 50% of the population was full of white people at that time. All stuck up, all pretty rich, all after their own houses. Then halfway through I went to Zideko. There, mm. under 1% was white. Then I went to a school called Quenda, which was a mission school in the bush. And 0% was white majority black then I went to a worse of school oh this was the worst school but it was a very enlightening school and it was my Vuradona and with God's power I hope I'll be able to help that school that was the poorest school or should I say the poorest mission school in the Bindura area around the um, Mount Darwin area and I was there I went there I suffered there. Believe me, I was there. Having beans and salsa every single day. Can you imagine that? Have any of you white folks had that shit? There you have it now. You don't understand the pain, do you? Nah. Why? Huh? Then when you don't have any food, you start crying, huh? Well, we have to live with that. Hmm? Huh? That's the life we live. That's how we survive. So my people, please don't go crying to the West. If you want to do something, if you say, okay, shit, I want to get rid of Bob, get rid of him yourselves. They laugh at you. The West laughs. They look at you. They're like, look, you cried for freedom. We gave you. We gave you independence. Now you're coming back to us. Why? Hmm? Don't you see? That's a bit fucked up. It's like, yeah, please, let us be colonized. Let us still be controlled. Come on. Anyways, I think all of you have understood my communication on to you. You all take care and I love you all. White, black, Asian, no matter what you are. I'm just up for equal rights and all that. Yeah, But our land is our land. We don't uh, set no trouble on your land. Bye.